Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Bulldog Stadium on the campus of Bedford High School. My name is Jim Flang, and I'm joined this evening by, on color commentating, by Jerry Teixeira. W welcome, Jerry. Hello. Uh, tonight's exciting matchup features undefeated Concord High School against last year's state champion runner-up, Bulldogs of Bedford High School. As mentioned, Concord comes into the game undefeated, and Bedford has a record of 4-1-1 one, one, with their only loss in a tie against uh, Central High School. And, Jerry, I'll just mention in this strange COVID-19 shortened season, Bedford got news yesterday uh, that they won't be playing their final two games of the season against Pinkerton Academy next week. So I this e that. Yeah. yeah. So this evening is the last regular game of the season. Um, and I know for uh, for many of the seniors, this will be an you know extremely emotional evening, particularly for parents, yeah. myself being one of them. But. So there is no other game scheduled for the rest of the year, regular I, I, season games? I guess uh, uh, athletic director Corey Parker is working on it, but um, but you know we'll hear, hear more next week. Yep. And then we remind all the viewers, too, of people who are viewing in on uh, Bedford Cable Television Channel 23, we invite you to jump on to HD Channel 10, 20, 1072, actually. Um, so again, HD 1072, I've said this before, it's like watching the old ESPN on Channel 49, and then when they went to 849 and then also the game can be found on YouTube and as well as uh, Bedford High School Facebook but again if people in Bedford in the area we encourage you to uh, tune in to um, BC TV HD 1072 and then we welcome parents from Concord who are viewing this game and um, I did the starting lineups my apologies to the Concord parents for any mispronunciations actually so well but I might be able to help you there with some of the Spanish I, I last love names. it sounds good Sounds good. Do you have both starting lineups? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Actually, right. I, I don't have um, Concord. the Concord one. But the name, Scott Dunlop, sounds familiar to me. Um, I used to play soccer, too, and I've played with Scott Dunlop, so I'm wondering. Right, well, both teams, are, both, both teams are lined up. Bedford with the ball early, so you get James Poshman. It looked like it was uh, some kind of a call there, foul called. I'm not sure if it was on Poshman or Flanagan, actually. So we get Flanagan up front with Rasby, the two seniors. Although I think, I believe Rasby's playing uh, midfield. And you get James Postman in the middle, number six. That's Ricardo Fultren, who heads it back. A little Nate Vero. Oh, boy. Uh, yep, a little danger uh, there. Very dangerous. Um, Aaron Kayser uh, clears the ball there. Speaking of Aaron K Kayser's name, big shout out to uh, Aaron's grandparents. Ted, Sophie, um, Dave, and Linda all watching from North Carolina and their other grandson, Andrew, who's doing stats tonight. He, he just did a quick wave and we called out the name. That was a nice long throw, a throw in from uh, Concord. So uh, Poshman, Poshman with the up, intercepted by number 13 from um, Concord. There's Flanagan with the ball now. Flanagan over to Poshman. Poshman looked like he was looking for Kayser. Broken up by Concord. Concord with a nice, nice ball. Vero back to Zach Dion. Zach Dion up in the vicinity of Flanagan. The, the Concord defender steps in front of Flanagan. Looks like Stu has got two strikers, two forwards. So Poshman on number seven. Uh, we don't have numbers for, the problem is they don't have numbers for the Concord lineups. So our apologies. Flanagan with the ball. Flanagan over, oh, nice play by the Concord defender. Nice slide. So Jacob Bowden heads, throws it into Flanagan. A little push in the back. No call by the officials. So maybe that's an indication, Jerry, of how tonight's game's going game's to go. Yeah, these guys seem to be pretty aggressive. Now, Flanagan, we've seen before, you know, with his throw-ins, typically it's like a corner kick. He can usually make it all the way into the box. And we saw uh, Bedford scored a goal last week on one of his uh, one of his corner, th corner throw-ins, sideline throw-ins. So Flanagan again with the throw-in. Let's see if he's looking for Kazers in the box. Landing it with the long throw, and although I mentioned, nice goal, nice play by the keeper. Cardo Fultran, looks like it's a foul on Concord there, so Bedford will have a kick. Let's see if um, let's see if Poshman 
Typically in situations like this, it's uh, James Poshman with the kick. So let's see. Early bid here, Jerry, for, uh, for, for the Bulldogs. I, um, I didn't see it, so I'm wondering if this is a, a direct or indirect. It could have been a hand. Um, I don't know if anyone, anyone, Andrew, or anyone saw it actually, or Just Caleb. It's out of the box, too. All right. How lucky for them. Just on the edge, Jerry. Yep. So for the use, those of you watching home, uh, Poshman with a great leg, Division One commit to Merrimack College down in North Andover, Massachusetts. Poshman to Rasby, Rasby back to Poshman. It's blocked. That's uh, Sorella. Kayser with the ball. Kayser back to Griffin Middleton. Griffin over to Nate Vero. There you go. Spread Back the field a little bit. Middleton. Middle. Spread, spread them out. Build an attack. It's good. Good ball movement. It's almost like Concord standing still. Flanagan back to Poshman. Poshman with a nice move. Yep. Very nice. Poshman over to Flanagan. Flanagan. Oh, with the, I don't know if it deflected off. Still, so we're almost about we're four minutes into the game. No shots yet. I'd say right now, Jerry, what do you think about the flow of the game and what Stu Pepper's teams come out in terms of a formation and everything? So far, so good. I think at the beginning there, they went for the corners to, um, to do a little foot race, maybe test that defender back there. Um, and uh, on the Bedford side, so, their attacking seems to be good. So nice another foul, uh, another foul on Concord number seven. Again, we don't have. We apologize to the uh, Concord parents. We don't have a lineup with numbers. So again, our, our apology. Actually, we do. That was Frank Mucho, actually. So we do have their oh. numbers are right oh, there, I, see I guess. this column right here? Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Bedford Middleton back to Zach Dion. Back to Middleton. Good pressure by Concord. Good. Uh, yep. All right. So we got... Poshman up to Flanagan. Flanagan looking for Rasby. Nice ball to Rasby. Rasby controls it. Nice job. Rasby back to Ricky Foltran. Ricky Foltran looking for Flan. Oh, nice header by uh, number four, Brandon uh, Kamari for Concord. And again, the um, Concord keeper with a nice save. So far, so good. Com Comar. Comar. So Brandon Komar with a nice play there. <laughs> Thanks. Got a foul on Bedford there. So Concord will have a direct kick. Well, you have a better view than I do. I got the glass, tinted glass, so it's hard for me to see the numbers. Let me see. Is uh, that better? There you go. Well, again, we welcome all our viewers who are uh, joining us on Facebook and on either BC Channel 23 or BC Channel 1072. We encourage the viewers on channel 23 to switch over to um, high definition 1072. Uh, nice ball by Conker, just a little high. And that was the number. Uh, number let's three. See, yep. Number yep. three. Alisada. I'll just call him Al Furrier. Yep. So Poshman. I think he was testing the keeper there. Back to Kayser. Freshman Griffin Middleton with a nice ball there. Nate Vero up, uh, actually intercepted by the Concord player. That's a nice touch. Jacob Garages. Back to Matthew DeRocher. Over to Nicholas DuBono. Good ball movement by Concord right yeah, there. These guys are looking pretty disciplined. Seems like Bedford standing back, and that ball is out of bounds. So Bedford will have a throw in. It looks like Nate Vero. Or maybe Jacob Bowden. Jacob Bowden. Jerry, I don't know if you you know you realize. So tonight's the the first game all season. They've allowed seniors. They had a they had a lottery for seniors to come to the game. So this is probably the best crowd of the of the year. Uh, that's nice to see. I know the players Support. were kind of charged up. Matthew DeRocher with the ball. Jacob Garage. Nice play by Bowden. Bowden with the ball. Nice turn. Uh, refs are letting them play. Yep. 
Nice play by Concord. Washman. These guys look pretty skilled. Pretty comfortable. They look good for the ball. Nice cross by number two. It looks like a would have been a handball, I guess. I mean yeah, I think it went off his It really wasn't inadvertent, yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh number oh nice save by Zach Dion. That was number nine, Brady Rice. That's a first first shot of the game. Nice shot and nice job by um, by Zach Dion. So Griffin Middleton, Kays, um, no. Braden Rasby turns back. I think that was a good decision right there. He didn't right. have much. Back to Nate Vero. It looks like they're covering Flanagan up top. He's getting double teamed. Yep. Dennis Cyrillic over to Ricky Fultrain. He's got Flanagan on the run. Let's see. Actually over to Poshman. Poshman to Flanagan. Look for a cross. Problem is nobody's here. Oh, nice cross by Flanagan. Nice. Flanagan to Bowden. So Poshman to Flanagan to Bowden. Jerry, just, just great. Yeah. Yeah. So we had goal score by um, 19, number 19, Jacob Bowden, assisted by number seven, Matthew Flanagan. One of the things that uh, my son did not want me to do is embarrass him by saying, you know, I'll yell out, goal. Oh, I think you should yell it uh -huh. out. Let's, go, let's get, come on, Jerry. Yeah. Let's hear it, Jerry. Que golazo. Let's hear it, Jerry. We love it. Jerry, <laughs> Bill's Matty loving Flynn. it. So that was Bowden from Flanagan. It's too bad if we were playing ice hockey, uh, Poshman wouldn't have got, would have gotten an assist there too, actually. So Bowden yes. from Flanagan. I got to be nine minutes. I got to give kudos for Bowden there. He uh, he's been giving my son a ride to some of these practices. Some <laughs> I of these love busy it. days. That's so I got to say kudos to Bowden there. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk a little bit later about senior leadership. And you know, Stu was talking to us before the game about just the character of this the senior class and their their great leadership. But a great great play. I mean, yeah. But uh, and it was interesting. Fultran chose to send it to. Uh, Poshman instead. Poshman uh, sent it over to Flanagan. Here we look go this, again. Look oh. Flanagan looking for assist number two of the night. He had four the other day, actually. So, um, But again, so great decision by Fultran to go to the middle to Poshman. And then Poshman sent it over to Flanagan, and, and Flanagan crossed it to Jake Bowden. So so the, all four seniors, or three seniors in, involved in that in that play. So one nothing uh, Bedford, 10 minutes into the game. By the way, Jerry, I should point out that's the first goal scored on Concord all season. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, you mentioned that they have how many goals for this year? Uh, they have oh, they they have 34 goals, and they were unscored upon until that that moment. So five games, if I did do my math right, that's about 400 minutes, 410 minutes until they had their first uh, yep. goal scored against them. So. About 10 minutes and 30 seconds in, Jerry. Both teams have one shot, um, but Bedford with the goal from uh, Bowden from Flanagan in the very ninth nice. minute. That evolved very quickly. I That's love the not, goal. I love the yep. goal call. I, I loved it, Jerry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm hoping to get some more exercise, <laughs> some more practice on this game. Aaron Kayser over to Flanagan. Flanagan to Poshman. Back to the freshman. Griffin Middleton over to Nate Vero. Flanagan. Flanagan broken up. Yeah. Uh, good this hustle there. Team is quick and physical. So it'll be Concord Ball. Speaking of the Middleton, so we hope, hope to see a little bit Middleton magic tonight. And we just want to give a little bit of a shout out uh, to seeing Andrew Middleton and freshman Griffin Middleton's, uh, again, Middleton Magic's grandparents. Gary and Lindy Middleton watching from California, and John and Patty Porto watching from the great state of Florida. This is this is quite a treat to have both their sons out there. You know, a senior and a freshman. So so both Bowden in the starting to lineup today. Oh, very yeah. Ed. That's a treat. Must be proud of them. Very proud. I think it's important to point out, too, all the athletic talent comes from the mother's side of the family and not the father's side <laughs> of the family. So. Uh, that's funny. And unfortunately, the, the boys suffer from um, rooting for the wrong football team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, although maybe it's the right football team this year. You took the words out of my mouth. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Conquer, yep. nice run there, but Jacob Bowden's there. And it'll be Bedford ball. Great play by Bowden. Bowden doing it all tonight. Yep. 
Bowden to oh. Middleton to Vero. Aaron Kayser. Kayser tried to go to Fultran, the long bomb. Lennigan grabbing his legs. Hopefully he's not injured there. Looks like he's a little bit ginger. So we, so we are 13 minutes into the game. The score is Bulldogs 1, Crimson Tide 0. And I believe, speaking of the Crimson Tide, um, the Bedford Bulldogs football team will be playing uh, Crimson this Friday evening. I believe it's 7 p.m. It'll be live here on BCTV, channel 1072. And streaming on the YouTube channel as well, and I believe on, on Facebook also. That was Matthew DeRocha with the, with the throw-in for uh, Concord. Nice step by Boschman there. Bowden there. Bowden over to Flanagan. Flanagan over to Poshman. Let's see. Nice. Back to Kayser. Ball is stolen by Concord. Nice play by Middleton. To the other Middleton. So, we, again, the little Middleton magic there, Jerry. Yep. I think they sit at home at night drawing up plays. Uh well yeah I would I, I would bet on uh, PlayStation uh, FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> Although uh, Andrew a pretty heavy workload academically, so um, um so I'm sure he doesn't have a lot of time. But so Middleton over to Nate Vero, senior Nate Vero. Oh, Vero with the long ball to Poshman. Oh Posh. Oh. oh, boy. I think Poshman may have grabbed. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I think the, I think the foul is on the keeper I'm there. surprised. It looked like it was in the box, Jerry. I don't know, Jerry. Thoughts on that, Jerry? Uh, it looked like no, it was in the box. I w that, uh, that would be a tough call to call it a penalty. I think they were outside. This is where uh, the John Madden replay scenario would come in handy. You know, uh, that's right. Do the drawing <laughs> in the X. Jerry, get ready with the goal call. Could be right here, Jerry. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm Yep, I say great. Go for it. So we have Rasby taking the shot. Got a good leg. Flanagan up top. We got Kayser up top. Rasby, great nice. save by the yep. keeper. Great save by, and that's uh, that's the second shot of the evening on the uh, conquered keeper. So Kayser with the header. There's one guy I can tell from here who it is. play on here. There we go. Ricky Fultran. Fultran with the ball. Nice job controlling it. Fultran over to Griffin Middleton. Up to Rasby. Rasby back to Nate Vero. Up to Rasby. Rasby back to Andrew Middleton. I think we're... Uh... Beverly Hills. Fultran up Bam. to Flanagan. Flanagan looking for some options. Stolen away. Who's that on the chase? Oh, oh great, great play by senior Nate Vero. Very nice. Rasby with the ball. Andrew Middleton looking for options. He's got a great foot. Over to Fultran. Fultran broken up by Concord. Dennis Cyrillic Sr. Over to freshman Griffin Middleton. Griffin to Poshman. Quickly back to Vero. Yeah. Fultran looking for Flanagan. Broken up by, I can't see that number. Uh, let's see. Number nine? Great. Broken up by number nine, Brady Rice. Nice play there. Bedford. Here we go. Cyrillic to Griffin Middleton, the Griff Dog. Griffin to Poshman. Fultran. Fultran over to Rasby. Rasby looking for options. Up to Flanagan. Flanagan, quick touch back to Fultran. Fultran with a nice move. Fultran wins the battle inside, crosses it to Rasby. See Nate Vera with the boot here. Nate crosses it. Oh, I think he's going to be outside, maybe. 
No. Oh, look at this. Flanagan. Oh, oh it may be a field goal. Is that three? Yeah. I think the <laughs> um, I think Fultron was offside on the back, on the far side, but. So nope. really no angle there. Nice job by the by the um, Concord keeper to come in and cut that off. Concord. Voltran to Flanagan. Back to Griffin Middleton. Griffin, quick touch. I'm loving the quick touches here. Yeah. Hey, Vero, let's see. Vero looking for Bowden. Over to Bowden. Yeah, this team, oh. I don't think this team is going to give you much uh, room um, to dribble. Obviously, if you got space, you take the ball, but... I think these guys are pretty aggressive, so. Flanagan looking for options. Crosses it to Bowden again. Back to Flanagan. Oh, almost oh. Bushman, almost there. And I believe it's a corner kick, actually, for the for the Bulldogs. So, again, I'm loving the, you know, the, the, the Raz. We had everyone. Everyone, with the, the, the front side of the offensive side of the field was involved in that. So, Flanagan with the corner kick here. Typically, he goes back to Rasby. Let's see what he does. That's his usual play. Yep. So Rasby, nice move, crosses it. Oh. Looks like Bowden's waiting there for it. Bowden up to Aaron Kayser, had first goal the other day. Oh, Flanagan with the takedown there. That's Flanagan? Flanagan takedown number uh, uh, seven, Frank Musio or? Musio. Musio. That's right. We got a one of the we got a heads up, a thumbs up from one of the Concord parents. Should have had him in here helping us with the pronunciations. Maybe at halftime. That ball's out, so it'll be a Bedford throw-in. So we had a conversation with Stu Jerry a little bit earlier, and he was you know talking about um, you know talking about the formations and everything, and and you know so what are your thoughts on what what he had to say to you? Um, we we talked a little bit about the what he was planning to do today versus what uh, uh, some of the observations I, m I had about uh, the central games. He made some adjustments uh, from game one uh, against central versus game two. Um, I think in this case, we got um, three in the back and a little bit more support on the midfield. So right. I think that's helping us over here control the ball in the middle. Washman up so to Rasby. Great play by the um, Concord defender, number 13, uh, Nicholas Dub uh, Dubano. Yeah, I'm going to rely on you giving me the numbers because I'm having a hard time seeing the numbers. So Bedford would have a throw in here, and it's uh, Jake Bowden, senior Jake Bowden, who had the first goal at the 10-minute mark. So we're halfway point of the first half, last, last regular season. Flanagan with the ball. Flanagan with a nice move. Uh, tried to cross it, unfortunately, right into the hands of the Concord keeper, so that's um, that shot number three for Bedford, and Concord has one shot. Nice goal kick. Uh, Vero heads it to Zach Dion. And just tell you about what, you know, Stu's ideas. I asked him what he thought about this, the first, week's, uh, first week of uh, practice. He's very up, uplifting week. Um, and like the spirit of the team and skill level, huge strides in team chemistry and lots of good looks in players. Um, and they said they had a great scrimmage yesterday. So I don't know if your son, Elliot, had anything to say about the, the scrimmage, but he had the first team against the second team. And he said it was a really spirited, um, <laughs> uh, spirited scrimmage. Nice ball to Flanagan up top. It looks like it'll be a corner. Hard yeah. to say. But the practice was uh, very spirited. That's that's right on my son's domain. He's very spirited. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I'd point, at times we uh, have to tell him calm down. All right. All right. <laughs> Even during practices. So we get a throw in for Flanagan. I mentioned to you before he had an assist the other day on a throw in, so he typically can make it far into the box. Right there, right in the middle. Number great breakup by number four header, Brandon Kamir. Who's that defending? Griffin. They look, Griff, Griff dog. Oh, good job. There goes Poshman. Nice play by, nice pressure by um, Jacob Bowden too. 
So Dennis up to Flanagan, just one touch over to Ricky Fultran. Back to Aaron Kayser. Broken up. So Conquer with a little chance here. Let's see what happens. Again, we apologize to the Conquer parents. We can't see the numbers from up here. Oh, that's number nine, Brady Rice. Nice, nice cross. Could have an opportunity here. Nice play by Jacob Bowden. Oof. Great play. I thought the Conquer player had a step on him. That looked like a good through ball. Oh, nice play by Nate Vero. Very physical play. Vero up to Rasby. Rasby's got Fultron on the side, and let's see. Yeah, Fultron's got Flanagan go. up top. Let's see what happens. Crosses it to up. Oh, just missed Flanagan. Aaron Kayser's there with the one touch. So what did you think about that great defensive play by, uh, again, Jacob Bowden's everywhere tonight. <laughs> so Jake was covering two guys, and the ball went right to the short. Uh, uh, Gostown player almost looked like he was through, but he, he recovered. Um, he did a great job defending there. Nice he's job he keeping it in. There we go again. Jacob Garagas, nice play Bowden by. Bowden again with a slide. Jacob Bowden, that's Bedford ball actually. So great job by, great job by Jacob Bowden. I think you see a little frustration on, on the part that's of right. conquer players, but. If I was Bowden right now, I'd say take it to the other side, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try it on this side. And Jerry, we just got a text. We uh, James Poshman. I mentioned Posh's name is. Um, he's got a shout out to uh, James's grandparents in New York who are watching on their computer, um, Andy and Patricia. So a big shout out to the Division One commits uh, grandparents, Andy and Patricia, watching in New York. This YouTube channel has been great, particularly if you're out of town, right? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, my you know my in-laws are watching in beautiful Dallas, Pennsylvania. Um, Jack and Mary and Clary, and my um, Matt's uncle um, Patrick, the meatball Clary, actually. So a big shout out to the Clarys in, in Dallas, Pennsylvania, also. So Fultran over to Aaron Kayser. Let's see. He's got Rasby running up top. Got Griffin Middleton. I like the poise of, of the freshman, Middleton. Yeah. So Flanagan with the ball. Back to Vero. A little bit of pre a lot of pressure. Vero. Well, what happened there? Um, interesting. Cause I, I didn't think uh, kind of a you know, we yeah. call it like we see it, Jerry. A little ticky tack call there by the officials. So Yeah, that was I might have seen maybe a handball, maybe a quick little bounce. So Rasby with the ball. Over to Griffin Middleton. Griffin up to Flanagan. Broken up by number three, Al Alster Ferreira. Ferreira. And that's number 10, Alejo Caceres. <laughs> I'm trying, people. Caceres, yeah. no, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> that sounds good. Balls to Flanagan. Flanagan's got Rasby. Ball up to Rasby. Let's see what Razzie's He's got Flanagan back. Let's see. Over to Flanagan. Flanagan broken mm. up by number four, Brandon Kamar. Oh, Kamar, actually. I'm sorry. Brandon Kamar. Look at this. Great job by Griffin Middleton. Yeah. All right, Ricky Fultran, the conquer player, has a step on him. Nate Vero back Oof. to Zach Dion. Not a little bit. Uh, Number both. 16, Carlos D'Souza. Uh, D'Souza. Carlos D'Souza had a chance with that. Flanagan back to Aaron Kayser. Kayser up to Caden Rasby. Good ball. Senior Nate Vero over to Jake Bowden, who seems to be everywhere tonight. Back to the defensive captain, Andrew Middleton. Over yep. to Kayser. To Dennis Rillick, the senior, who's had a great year. Over to Ricky Fultran. Ricky broken up by Concord. Was to Flanagan, broken up by Concord. So 13 minutes and 10 seconds left to go in the in the first half. Good play by Poshman, but I yeah. guess yeah, high school rules. But what's that rule? I I. When you're down on the ground, I guess you can't play the ball when you're on, on the slide, I guess, oh, right? I yeah, I, I think know. he probably... Oh, you yeah, think it was like, dangerous, you, you maybe? like a dangerous? Dangerous call, maybe. Yeah, yeah. possible, but... Number nine, Brady Rice with the uh, kick here. Nice boot, about 30 yards. Steady Eddie 
Andrew Middleton there with the header. Brasby to Poshman to Flanagan. Let's see. Flanagan over to Bowden. They're connecting tonight a couple times. Bowden back to Flanagan. Flanagan, nice move. Flanagan with a ball over to Fultran. Fultran oh. back to Rasby. Taken down on the box. I mean, I couldn't see it really well, Jerry. What do you think? Yeah. Let him that, play. Uh, let him play, too, he right? certainly let him go. Zach Dion, nice job coming out. Gets it over to Dennis Cyrillic. Yeah, good stuff. Cyrillic to Poshman to Kayser. Well, like what I'm seeing here is that the defensive backs. Bowden, like Bowden. to Rasby. Oh, with a Meg. Nice move by Rasby there to Bowden. And then Concord kicks it out. So these four defensemen that uh, Stu has, the left and right defensemen make cover quite a bit of ground. I don't know if you noticed. They just it's a trademark of, of Pepper's teams typically. So Rasby inside the box. Let's see what happens here. Concord with the ball. Clears it, but it looks like Vero's there to collect it. Vero. Got plenty of time. Let's see what these guys are just being cautious now. Thrown out by Concord. So we've got 11 minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the first half. So Flanagan throwing. Let's see. See if they set up in the box. Nope. Throws it back to Bowden. Uh, it says Concord ball. Good luck. During this break, a couple shout outs too. We, uh, Nick Asadorian, senior, his grandparents who lived in Bedford for over 50 years, Ralph and Alice Asadorian. So big shout out to the um, Nick Asadorian's uh, grandparents. So Aaron Kayser settles the ball. Cyrillic. Oh, let's see. Oh, looks like Flanagan with a little foul, actually. I think he got him from the back. The foot tangles. And then we have a whole bunch of other shout outs, including Jerry. You know, you have to shout out to your, you know, oh, yeah, my your relatives, too. My relatives are uh, uh, here in the U.S. and in Montevideo, Uruguay. My aunt and uncle um, love their. Um, their their nephew and uh every time they they're all they're watching right now hola hola nelly eduardo so bedford with the throw in here concord had had a chance there but um you know, a little miscommunication on the uh concord concord players parts which happens so now jake bowden senior jake bowden and we have our first substitution of the night we have uh griffin middleton who had a, had a great first half Going in for, I believe, Graham Hudson. So number 13, Graham Hudson in. Playing up top to move Flanagan to the middle. So that, that, that alignment you talked about at the second central game. Yep. So Hudson. Hudson's seeing a little bit of action right away. Yep. Nate, Nate Vero. Nate with a nice ball to Jake Bowden. That's a great through ball. Bowden, the quick, Very quick nice. cross was thinking, trying to get it across to uh, Graham Hudson. So we'll have um, have a corner, corner here. And it looks like Ricky Fultran is going over to take the corner. So shots on goal right now. We're still at, we still stand at three for Bedford and one for Concord. But in the all important category on the scoreboard, it's uh, the Bulldogs one, uh, Crimson Tide zero. I like it. So again, Ricky Sr., Ricky Fultran, who also had, had a great career at, at Bedford High School. Nice corner, headed by the Concord player. Vero gambles a little bit, but he's got help there. It's a relic from the other side. He recovered quickly. A nice cross. Nice play by the Bedford player because the, the other fullback for uh, Cyrillic was on the other side of the field. So good field sense there, but great play by Middleton. Right. Yeah, you know, Drew. So eight minutes left to go. What are your impressions so far, Jerry? So far, so good. I think this is, this uh, Concord team is pretty disciplined. Um, you got to get rid of that ball quick, though. They're they don't allow you right. to um, take extra touches. 
Um, they're quick. So Concord with the throw. And beautiful evening here too at, at Bulldog Stadium. Been a little bit chilly, but full full probably past peak for foliage, but beautiful night. Oh, I hate seeing that stuff. Oh. Miscommunications like that. Oh, nice cross. A great help by the Bedford. I'm not sure. That was Poshman. You wonder if Concord had taken the shot right when they had the opportunity. Mm. Uh, Dion was was um, out of position at that point. Yeah, I don't know if he had the lane for the shot. But even the second player, yeah. too, when he crossed it. Uh, tell you, I'm not sure what number that is over there when he crossed it. Maybe a one-timer. Well, Concord still controlling. Let's see what Razvi can do here. Razvi up to Good Kayser. Good recovery. That was a moment of... Kayser. Oh, here we go. You've got to send it. Yep, he's on yep. side. And Flanagan up top. Oh, let's see the takedown. Oh, Flanagan. Great save by the keeper, actually. Yeah. Uh, looks like Flan Flanagan ran out of time there, actually. So Put it right in the bread basket. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So another shot. Nice try by, try by Flanagan. Great ball. Oh. I don't think uh, oh, he's Flanagan gonna, He's, he's going to wake up in the middle of the night tonight, actually. Oh, he yeah. Won that chance back. Should have had that one. But also a great job. I mean, the Conquer keeper didn't, you know, he played played his position. Yep, yep, yep. So Kayser. That was a great through ball though. Good it eye. Was. It was. No hesitation. Any if he was a little a second off, Flanagan would have been offside. So you mentioned you you noticed that uh, you recognize the name of the, the Conquer coach, Dunlop? Scott Dunlop, yep. He played uh, at NHTI. Um, I sure I played with him there as well. Oh, great! Um, teammates, I didn't know that. Yeah, That's great. Long time ago, <laughs> many years ago. You know, Con um, you know, Concord. You know, traditionally a powerhouse. I think I think our uh, seniors, their freshman year, Concord out of nowhere won the state championship. Actually, so they're they're typically a perennial quarter finalist or semi finalist, and sometimes, you know, they make it to the state final. So certainly making a statement early this year with, you know, off to five consecutive wins in a, in a shortened season. Yeah, I'll have to, uh, maybe after the game, I'll stop by and see if it's uh, the Scott, Lo Scott Dunlop I know. Poshman, nice job defending. Heads it back to Nate Vero. Vero over to Middleton. Dennis Arelic. Dennis up to Ricky Fultran, looking for Graham Hudson. Great job by number four, Brandon Kamar, Kamar for um, Concord. Nate Vero, plenty of real estate right here. Plenty of real estate. Up to Flanagan, senior tri-captain. Flanagan with a nice ball. I'll tell you, some great balls tonight. Up to Caden Rasby. Rasby. So, oh, same Concord ball. Maybe it went off Rasby's foot. Yeah. Some great ball movement, Jerry. I mean, nice I, nice uh, through balls, nice give and goes. Um, oh, that'll be Bedford's ball. Concord trying to work the refs here, too, actually. Um, so Flanagan lets it go over. Flanagan, nice, going to cross that. Gets it. Who's oh, there? No Who's one there? there. Oh. oh, nice cross, nice try. So Bedford certainly had, their, certainly had their chances. No, they're, sh they're showing poise and... and um, Definitely controlling the ball much, uh, really well, actually. I, w I wouldn't say much better than Con uh, Conquer. Conquer's doing a really good job on their end. So we've got four minutes left to go, um, although I didn't uh, stop the clock, so we probably have less than uh, four minutes to go. But again, you know, it, it probably one of the, since the first week against Central, or the second week against Central, definitely our most competitive uh uh, you know, competitive games this season, you know, and, and number right. five, I think a Conquer player just went off injured, number five, Matthew DeRocha. So we hope that he's feeling better and back in the second half. Junior defenseman. So Fultran with a quick flick back to Kayser. Nice play by Aaron Kayser. Kayser, oh, had Graham Hudson there. Flanagan with the header to Graham Hudson. Hudson. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh Flanagan, nice slide. I think they call the foul. Oh, offside maybe? Yeah, it may have been offside. I wonder if Hudson on the backside, not sure. Go, 
Let's see, three minutes and 24 seconds left to go. Kind of a special night, Jerry. I mentioned to you, one game this season, each team is allowed to have um, seniors come. They do a raffle and let them come to the game. So I know the senior players, varsity players, are really excited to see some of their classmates in, in the crowd tonight. And again, definitely the largest crowd of the season. That's good to see. Particularly, yeah. I mean, you probably want to see your friends come out and support your friends. So Zach, uh, Zach Dion, and you know this crazy COVID-19 world. What happened with uh, Pinkerton? You know the other day. I mean, who knows? You know, uh, Coach Pepper said every every game is a gift. One more game that we we get to play. Right. Oh, There's great ball, ball by Poshman. Flanagan has it. Let's see. Flanagan settles the ball back. Nice flick back to Bowden. Bowden deflected off the Concord defender. Good hustle. Rasby. Again, great ball by Poshman. So we've seen some, you know, four or five great, great balls. Bowden, I guess, handball they're calling off of Jacob. I think Bowden ate his Wheaties this morning. Yeah. <laughs> He's so covering a lot of turf. So two minutes left to go. We're also, you know, we know we stopped the clock at, at two minutes in the first half and at five minutes in the second half. So let's let's see how long, how close we are. So a nice ball by number two. Number two, Jacob Gragas. So Flanagan looking for Hudson, crosses it to Bowden. Ball with the step. A little takedown by uh, number 10 from uh, Concord. He's running through them. Caceres. Uh, Flanagan to Poshman. They've connected quite a bit tonight. Poshman. We'll have a direct kick here and good sportsmanship by, by number 11, Colin Brayshaw for, um, for Concord. So good to see that sportsmanship. You know, and Jerry, a lot of these kids know each other anyway. They play on, play on you know, club teams in the, in the state and they, oh, they see, do? Each, on the, in see this? each other quite a bit. Yeah. So Poshman. Posh with the no, nice ball. Middleton was up top. Would have been nice to see. Uh, Drew, Nate Vero. Good step. Great Nate. play. So Bowden yeah. off of number two, Jacob Caragas. So by my count, we've got about 45 seconds left to go in the half. Caragas. Score Bedford one. The Bedford Bulldogs one. The Crimson Tide of Concord zero. So throw in to Bowden to Flanagan. Another shot on goal, but um, so that's the fifth shot on goal for the Bulldogs to one for the Concord Crimson Tide. Nice play by Kayser. Kayser to Rasby. Good ball. Rasby to Flanagan. Let's see what the left foot. He's got a decent left foot. Crosses it to Rasby. Oh! oh! Did that deflect? It's the post. A keeper's oh. best friend. I think it was the angle too, Jerry. The um, I don't know what number that is for. Concord, but uh, the defender, maybe number nine uh, for Concord, uh, number nine, Brady Rice, did a great job, I think, yeah. cut, cutting down um, Rasby's angle. So that, that's it for the first half, actually. Um, score, Good Bulldogs game. one, um, Con Crimson Tide zero, shots on goal. We have five for the Bulldogs and one for Concord. And a oh, big I shout see. out to the well, Concord. That makes a difference. Uh, Concord parent who came over and helped us with some of the pronunciations of the uh, Concord players. And to my friends over at Central, I thought the Central names were, were tough. Um, um, you ain't seen nothing yet. So Concord right here with a quick bit at the beginning. I missed that yeah. whole that whole um, exchange, Jerry. What, yeah, what, they what had, you see there? they had a couple of give and goes. Uh, worked that corner. I think uh, um, it got our defenders by surprise a little bit. So maybe a set play at the, at the beginning of the half. I and mean, Bedford used to have one last year. Oh, they did? Yeah. 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 Have not seen it this year. So a little bit of a oh, so Bedford off to a off to a slow start here. Let's see if Concord can can capitalize. I think they've got to get their running legs back in there. Those ten minutes. Uh so Fultran and Kayser. Kayser with a nice play. Taken down. Kayser up to that's um Come on, guys. Let's get full Fultran to Rasby. Yeah, Bedford a little bit. Let's get a little oh, no. tiki going. That's you, number you, three. Elsa Dare Ferrara. You familiar with the tiki-taki approach? 
Oh, nice. So that's Dion. That's the second shot of the game for Concord. I'm not. Um, Jerry, why don't you explain that for our viewers? So, Tiki Taki was one of those tactical games that oh, uh, nice. Barcelona had for a long time. You know, when they ruled uh, Europe and uh, the World Cups? Um, the name escapes me of the coach, but it was a tiki tacky You would never see a player touch the ball more than twice, sometimes okay. three times. And what they do is one times. And yeah, Middleton up to Flanagan. Flanagan with a quick touch to Poshman. Yep. Bedford just off a, off a bit right now. And, and uh, you know, fortunately for the Bulldogs, so Poshman back to Zach Dion. Fortunate for the Bulldogs, Concord unable to capitalize right now. But a lot of, you know, sloppy passes. And so Kayser up yep. to Graham Hudson. Hudson over to Ricky Fultran. Fultran, nice move. Fultran up to Rasby. Rasby to Fultran. Over to Flanagan. Flanagan with a quick touch. Unfortunately, too far ahead. Dennis Cyrillic. Dennis over to Nate Vero. Nice. Son Nate's brother, Zach Vero, at the game. Zach, a freshman um, player at uh, Division II St. Anselm College. And uh, uh, arguably one of the best players in the history of the Bedford program, Zach Vero. So good to see him at halftime. Oh, is that who came over at half? Uh, over on the side. Yep. 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 And then also, one of the senior players, I'm not going to mention his name, um, asked us to give a shout out to former Bulldog uh, Mackenzie McGeckern, who's watching from UNH. So I'm not going to mention the player's name, number 19, but he asked us to give a shout out nice. to. Uh, to McKenzie, actually. And McKenzie at UNH, uh, outstanding soccer player, but um, also playing lacrosse at, at UNH. That's my alma mater. Did you play there, Jerry? Uh, no, I did not. All right, so Bedford ball here. So Middleton, quick flip over to Vero. Vero to, so Dion. Vero with a long ball, looking for Hudson. Hudson, nice play, broken up. Rasby is there to collect it. Rasby over to Poshman. Poshman, quick flip. Hmm. Landing in there, a deflection. Uh, the right idea, and unfortunately, wrong execution. So Flanagan with the throw in. Let's see. What, oh. Oh, he did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Just to show how agile and flexible he is. Rasby with this. the bid here. Raz oh, Ooh. nice shot, deflected. Rasby again. A lot of these seniors with their classmates here. Vero, it's a chance for Concord. Let's see if it goes out. No, it looks like it's out. Nice hustle by both teams. Can't make out that number for Concord on the far sideline. Got some jitters here. Ball's not getting to its target. I think the cold weather kind of tightened them up a little bit. Big shout out to uh, Glenn, Glenn Tierney, actually, um, from Bedford, who just said he's tuning in on BCTV HD 1072. Thanks for uh, your loyalty, your loyal viewership. Great play by Poshman. Poshman to Rasby. Rasby over to Fultran. Fultran. So shot wide of the goal. Yeah. You wonder now, Jerry, they're down this end. They're in front of their classmates. You know, do you, do you try to do too much because you're trying to show uh -huh. off in front of your classmates? Yeah. Maybe some girlfriends yeah, in the crowd. I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. You got your girlfriend over there. I want to get my goal. <laughs> I believe the Bulldog flag is here also. So um, I think Spencer Hewitt has the uh, Bulldog flag down the far end of the field. Nate Vero, it's, it goes out. It's a Vero there with the throw in to Posh. Poshman. Speaking of Bulldogs, maybe you can uh, give me a little insight into the, I don't, I, uh, every time, uh, when I drive around the town, you see these yes. Bulldogs, so right? Flanagan up a little bit far off to Rasby, right idea. So their pass is off a little bit. Yeah, so the Bulldog, um, it, it was a fundraiser that I believe that the either the Bedford Educational Foundation did a number of years ago. So you'll see. Oh, great cross oh, by nice. Bowden. Flanagan oh. there almost. Flanagan back to Fultran. 
Oh, great ball. Flanagan. Goal! Let's hear it again, Jerry. Let's hear it again. Goal, Lasso! Oh, Jerry. I love it, Jerry. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's a that's a first for BC TV. All right. And you just... Diego Lasso you... by Matty Flanagan. <laughs> uh, well, I think we just woke everybody up. Oh, so that Very goal, nice goal, scored by Flanagan from Hudson at the sixth. So what do we got? So we've got 46th minute actually. Um, Jerry, I love it. Uh, Jerry, <laughs> the other thing is, I think you just lowered the gauntlet to. Um, Harry and the BCTV crew on Friday nights for a touchdown. Oh, yeah? so oh we, that would be nice. So we will. So great. I gotta come out here. So Jerry, talk game. about that play. Great passing. They almost yep. connected earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah, it got broken up a little bit by a couple times from Concord, but they just couldn't clear it. Yep. And Flanagan put that ball where the keeper could just not reach it. I right think he's. I think right he's going to be corner. able to sleep tonight because on that breakaway. I mean, I was worried. I just said to my wife at halftime, I said, I think he's going to be screaming in the middle of the night from not scoring on that breakaway. So. Right. Yeah. That. That will. Uh, so Aaron Kayser with with a little him. takedown. Andrew, what a little anger issues for for the brother. You know, grandparents watching in North Carolina too. I I you know. Uh, hopefully the con Concord player can shake that off. It was an inadvertent foul, as most of them are. Yeah, some pretty good sportsmanship going on here. And that was number three, Elstar Ferreira. Nice boot. Middleton there to get it. Number three, you said. Yeah. Ferrier. Ferrier, that's right. Other one is known as L. That's right. All right, let's go. Bulldogs. Uh, nice ball by Nate Vero. Up to Hudson. It looks like it's Concord ball. Graham with a nice pass there too to Flanagan on the on the second goal. So we are nine minutes, eight minutes, twenty seconds into the second half. Score: Bulldogs two, Concord zero. Shots on goal in the second half. We've got one for both team, both teams. Bedford goal scored by uh, Matt Flanagan. So Matt Matt has a goal and assist this evening, and the assist by Hudson. And then the first goal was by Jacob Bowden. Assisted by Matt Flanagan. I didn't get to see the starting lineup for the. Whoa. Well, almost a little collision there. Zach Dio, nice job. Nice job by Ricky Fultran to, to back off there. I didn't get to see the starting lineup, but I did hear it was a breakdown. Quite a good distribution of underclassmen on, the, on this starting lineup, right? For Concord? Yeah. Yes. Yep, so that's the, that's the breakdown right there, and the grade is over there. Yeah, so they got pretty good. Uh, they have something good to look forward to. And same thing with Bedford. I mean, you know, this is the first game we haven't seen, you know, a number of the freshmen. Uh, and I just think this is the year, probably one of the largest number of freshmen Stu's ever had on his on his team. Yeah. So both teams That's playing a little. Yep. Both teams playing a little kickball here, Jerry. I'm new to this Bedford soccer, so obviously. Right, right. Um, oh, great tradition. Stu, Stu Pepper, you know, can't say enough about his, you know, he does a great job in the classroom, more, more importantly, but also does a great job with the, with, with the boys and, and uh, you know, real classy program. Yeah. And we, you know, I mentioned we had a good chat with, with uh, Stu before the game started. So ball by Kayser, Flanagan uh, missed on it. All right, you got Poshman. Poshman up to Flanagan. Flanagan looking for options. Back to Posh. Posh, quick one touch to Razvi. Yeah, nice triangles there. Razvi to Posh. He's got a great leg. Let's see. Kayser. To yeah. Fultran. I like they're waiting for their opportunity. That's right. Fultran to Flanagan. Uh, broken up. Flanagan trying to get a little fancy, I think. Oh, Kayser with a great play, great defensive play. And they said play on, no foul. Yeah. 
you know, in this break in the action, why don't, you know, again, we had a senior night, the, the second home game, but let's, you know, give a shout out to the, to the seniors. I mentioned a couple of them. So we've got Caden Rasby, uh, Nate Vero, uh, James Poshman, a tri-captain, Matt, Matty Flanagan, a tri-captain, um, Ricardo Fultran, uh, Fernan, uh, Fernando Carade, a senior, Graham Hudson, a senior, Dennis Cyrillic, a senior, Cade Corbett, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Nick Asadorian, a senior, Jake Bowden, a senior, and I missed that whole exchange. Um, Anthony Dinelli, a senior, um, Drew Middleton, a senior, and final, finally and Andrew Kayser. So Bedford, a nice save by the um, Concord keeper. So a chance by, let's see, that's number, I believe that's number three. El Sadar Ferrari, right? Fier. Fier, Fier, yeah. All right, so it looks like Bedford will collect here. So both teams um, within the span of about 45 seconds have um, good scoring chances at, at either end. Shots on goal still stand at two for uh, Bedford and one for Concord. So Gavin Diaz, and speaking of the freshman, one of our early favorites. Uh, obvious Elliot's one of our favorites too, actually. And, <laughs> and Griffin, nice save by, uh, uh, those, uh, by those, Andrew Middleton. All those four freshmen, they're, uh, they're all like brothers. They hang out together, they come out and practice together, even beyond. Nice ball by Dion Diaz, almost there. Yeah, yeah, same thing with with you know most of the seniors too. Again, mentioned they've been you know, playing playing soccer together since they were five years old. They have a name, you know, Bedford Mates. Just a great great group of uh, young men. Nice say, nice break up. Speaking of one of the Bedford Mates, that's Nate Vero. The Bowden's another one. Posh, Posh with the cross had the right idea. Good play by number eight, and that's Cooper Reese. Coop. Oh, great play, Middleton. Another one of the mates. Middleton up top, and then Bedford have an opportunity to collect themselves here. So we are 13 and a half minutes into the second half, so 43 and a half minutes into this 80-minute game. I hear Stu in the background over there. Might not, no, he might not be uh, liking what he sees. Yeah, and Jerry, you're new to the program. Typically, um, if Stu's not happy, you can your parents can usually hear him from the. Uh, from the stands. That's good. So that's Reese. Keep him in line. Reese, oh, Middleton. It's a big advantage for um, for Stu too. I mean, you've got the you know you got the veterans in the back. Middleton, Vero, Bowden, and uh, Cyrillic in the in the back. All starters from uh, last season's team. So Middleton up top to Flanagan. Flanagan broken up. Nice play by the Concord player. Vero with the header up to Bowden. Bowden with one of the two goals tonight. Bowden, nice play here. There you go. Bowden up to Flanagan. Let's see. On the wing. Flanagan over to Ricky Fultran. Let's see. There'll be a nice name to yell out goal. Fultran. Oh, oh Diaz. Diaz. Oh, he's patient. Smart. Oh. That was good. So we got a player down for uh, Matthew DeRocha down for uh, Concord. I don't know if the ball. Four. So they think they... they so we have a stoppage in time here at the 25 minute mark. And uh, Bedford sports trainer out, Eric Gelinas out to um, uh, take care of the Concord player. And uh, Concord coach coming out also to check on his, check on his player. Looks like something with the knee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Frank. So again, big shout out to the uh, Concord parents who are uh, joining us on on the uh, BCTV YouTube channel. Um, and again, just a, a hard spirited, um, uh, hard fought game tonight. And, and again, you know, tremendous respect. I think between both teams, this uh, a tremendous rivalry, Jerry, between the between the two teams. And, and tonight's game certainly adding to it. And they're going to be back at it again on. 
on Saturday morning, actually, up at, up at Concord. Um, and I think a much smaller field, I think if they play at the, the same field they typically play at. So will they, uh, will they be televising it or streaming it? Do you know? No? We'll have to ask the Concord parent whether or not they stream the games, the home games. Um, so a big shout out to Matthew DeRocher, actually. They stream, do you guys stream your home games? Okay. That would be great. So, so Matthew DeRocher, the um, a junior defender, uh, number five, uh, being helped out the fail by um, Eric Gelinas and the uh, Concord coach. So we certainly hope that um, it, it's just a minor injury and that he's back playing. Someone made a comment on the, uh, on the chat that uh, no, they don't. They don't stream. So. so thanks to the Concord parent that just – Chimed uh, in. Chimed in, yeah. We yeah. just, we, we suggest. Uh, Tell them to get cheese. Yeah, we, we actually, uh, the general manager of the Bedford uh, uh, BC TV just mentioned that they should, you know, talk to the Conquer TV. And again, the big thing to make this work is you, you need volunteers also. So, oh, nice header yeah. by Kayser. Nice throwing, and then a nice header by Kayser. So that was Jake Bowden with the throw. And again, Bowden everywhere tonight. So we hit the 25-minute, 15-minute uh, mark, 25 minutes left to go in the second half. Bedford, I believe, will have a throw-in here. So Jake Bowden goes for the uh, throw-in. Uh, a couple other shout-outs to do tonight for some of our – and if Concord people want shout-outs, feel free to uh, uh, comment. Um, some other shout-outs we, we have tonight. We have um, – let's see – we have Cade Corbett's grandparents. And this is a big shout out to the uh, great state of California. Good ball. Gavin Diaz, nice ball. So Bedford throwing. So the great state of California, Cade Corbett's grandparents, Gary and Judy Smith in San Diego, California, also watching with them. Um, Uncle Gene Gord and Aunt Mary Lynn Kinsella. So the Smiths. Gord and Kinsella, and then Stan and jo Joanna Corbett in Palo Palos Verdes, California. Beautiful area, actually. We certainly hope that it's uh, good to hear that the wildfires have, have uh, settled down a little bit. So Concord with the throw in. Middleton there. It'll be Concord ball. So you think that if Concord's going to, you know, if they're going to mount a comeback, it's probably, probably the next five. Five to eight minutes, they probably need to chip away at it. Hopefully, Bedford will answer with a, with another goal. So a throw in here for number eight, Cooper Reese. Cooper with the throw in. This team is capable of doing that. Yeah, obviously, you know, if you look at their, you know, goals, it goes for this year. So you know, 34 goals for and only two goals against. Poshman right there. Poshman over to Vero. Vero, a nice ball to Razvi. Razvi with a nice move. Razvi surveying the field. Oh, great play by number 16, Carlos de Sousa. So great play on Vero. And but there to collect the ball. And let's oh. see. We may have a there could be a call here on Middleton. You don't see it very often. That's in the it's, box. It's in the box. Um very, very surprised. I mean, Jerry, I don't know if you saw the play, but the ball was going towards the keeper. Middleton just kind of yep. stopped, stood him up. Um, um, you know, just again, j just surprised. But so this is just an indirect. Um, that's so you've got a big defender, number four, coming down the field, Brandon uh, Kamari. So look, look out for Brandon Kamari, and uh, Ricky Fultran guarding him. Diaz down to guard number fourteen. Baruni Lacuse, oh, great block by, I don't know if it was Flanagan. Flanagan was the closest one. Flanagan tries to clear it. Decent clear. Concord trying to keep the ball down their end. That's number 14, Nicholas DeBono. Dennis over to Foltran. Kayser looking for options up to Razvi. Razvi having a great game. Middleton. So a lot of pressure by Concord right now, Jerry. Yep, yep. So Gavin Diaz, the freshman, 
Usually gets the calls too. Flanagan back to Poshman. So the Bedford mates. Conker is definitely. Oh, Vero, he gets some speed here. Number 16, great play by Vero. Back to Zach Dion. Zach, ooh, they got to be a little bit more careful. That's uh, little Ronnie Lucchese. Yep. Back to Dion. So we're almost at the halfway mark of the second half. Again, still Bedford 2, Concord 0. In the name of being a good host, uh, Tracy wants us to give a shout-out to her boyfriend, senior Frank Masillo, number 7. All right, so big shout-out. So we had one Bedford Frank player Masillo. give a shout-out to his friend at UNH, so it's only fair that we, we, we do the other one. Again, any shout-outs? Anyone that... That from Concord, do you want us to do any shout outs? And same thing for Bedford um, parents and grandparents. Feel free to let us know. Good ball right here. Oh, look at uh -oh. that. Two of them. Two in a row. Oh. Well, Flanagan in. Looks like a corner for Bedford. So good hustle. Ricky Fultran looking for the call. I'm sure Stu Pepper's not happy. Uh, you don't yeah. give up until the whistle's blown, right? Yeah. So we've got a corner here. Flanagan with good good hustle. Fultran giving a little show Rasby for the Rasby out to fans. Middleton to Fultran. And that's cleared. So now it looks like, you know, the field's tilted a little bit the other way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the fans. The fans like what Fultran just displayed. A little footwork. So Maddie Flanagan. A couple of megs. Senior Maddie Flanagan with the throw, and I, I tell you, I know I see a lot of senior parents out there, and it's it's um, you know it's an emotional night I think for all of us actually. And and uh, Jerry, you'll be there in three years, although you've got another younger one coming up actually. But this yes, is the Gabriel. end of the road for for some of us. It's our last um, child playing playing high school sports. So you're gonna come back? Um, I'll, I'll come back. I I'll come back to help out absolutely. But uh, Flanagan, nice tackle. Breaks it up to Diaz. Ricky Fultran over in the corner. He's going to let it go out. You know, and again, I, I you know, I usually do a shout out. A shout out to, you know, Corey Parker and, and the entire Bedford High School administration, too, for for just making uh, making the season happen. Um, and I, I think the school has done a tremendous job with, with COVID-19. A lot of other schools, you get three or four cases and you shut down. And I don't know the circumstances, but just really impressed with, with the way the Entire Bedford School District, Mike Fournier, Bob Jazokas has handled it, and certainly on the athletic front. Jake Bowden. I don't know if he was crossing it there or if he was if he was going for a goal. No, one of the, you got to admire that the <coughs> the athletics here, um, even the the team. I think you mentioned it uh, a couple of games ago. The teams have adopted this mask at all times. Uh, so we're, we're watching Bedford play with their masks on. Um, and I can't... Loose, loosely. loosely. Loosely, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they do have mine. Yeah. So you got to give them credit. So they've stuck to, to it. Oh, Ooh, nice. Oh. oh. Fultran almost to Diaz, the freshman. But great ball. Again, Flanagan with the throw. And let's see if they go to the box. I'm surprised they don't do the... Throwing it's almost as good as a corner kick I've, I've mentioned to you before. And those of you who remember the state championship for last year in double overtime, they almost scored on a on a throw, and it, it crossed the goal line, and there was no one there to, to, to tap it in, actually. <sighs> so Flanagan taking his sweet time bringing yeah, the ball back. he's working the clock, maybe? Yeah. Flanagan with that throw all the way across. Keeper comes up. Abbas. Abbas. Good job. Steady Drew Middleton. Oh, nice ball. Let's see Vero there. 16 for uh, Carlos de Sousa. He's got some speed. You got to watch 16 for, for Bedford. Um, probably the quickest player on the team. Nice job. Flanagan with the ball. Let's see. Looking for help. Looking for help. Oh, back to Rasby, Rasby! Oh, oh, broken up. So Flanagan, Flanagan, bringing the ball up, saying, <laughs> "Where's the help? Where's the reinforcements?" I so want to see Gavin put it uh, in the oh, net. Oh, that central game that would have turned that first game when yeah. he hit the when he hit the post. Totally shocked Central. 
Bill Poshman. Fultran, you know, Ricky Fultran, someone that, you know, kind of an unsung hero out there, you know, hustles, great passes. So, you know, big shout out to the Fultrans and their family and their parents and grandparents who are watching. Ricky over to Gavin. Gavin, nice move, Jerry. Great move by Gavin. Flips it over to uh, Poshman. I'll Posh admit it. I missed it. I was oh, just, it was a uh, great move by the freshman. Oh, Bowden the with the cross. Rasby's there. Oh, nice play by Concord. Again, can't see the number, but a great play by, I think it may be number four. Bobby Orr, just kidding. Brandon Kamari. Best number, mm. in, best number in professional sports, number four. Not even debatable, but. So, again, Bedford two, Concord zero, 15, 38 left to go in this one. And, again, just to recap on the goals in the, early in the first half, um, Jacob Bowden scored uh, with an assist from Matt Flanagan. And then early in the second half, uh, Matt Flanagan uh, with an assist from Graham Hudson. So the seniors all uh, figured in the uh, scoring for tonight. I think uh, right now, at least for the last five minutes, Bethers has been controlling the ball. They have been at will. You know, we wonder if Concord's run out of gas too. You know, he mentioned, not sure, you know, I looked at, these moves? oh, Rasby. Wow. Good save <laughs> by Abbas. Rasby, nice save. Rasby had some options in the middle, but but decided to, decided to, and almost, you know, he's got a great leg. He just, I think, kind of ran out of gas there. Got some good moves. You know, just, you know, I, ta I talk about the seniors, and, and you know, I look, I look in the back, um, you know, Andrew Middleton's been a, a, a three-year starter for, for the Bulldogs. Um, James Poshman's been a, on varsity for four years, three-year starter. Um, Matt Flanagan, three-year three -year starter. They, uh, they all have one thing in common. They won a state championship their uh, junior year and uh, sophomore year, and they just um, came up a, a just short, a wee bit short um, last year, losing to Hanover. But hoping to get back yeah, there again this year, and we can – Maybe in the next yep. break we can talk about the, the playoff format. Oh, the, yeah. The bizarre playoff format, I would say. But then again, with COVID, everything's bizarre. I uh, so heard you and Stu talking about it, and it might just be. Oh, Vero to like Flanagan. Uh, it's just going to be, they're going to put all the, so Flanagan settles it. A little scissor move. Let's see. We're trying to do a little bit too much. Yep. A couple okay. subs coming in. Let's see if he takes the takes the seniors out. Yeah, yeah Kaiser there. Yeah. So Aaron uh, Kaiser, Kaiser and again a senior and, and uh, first year on on varsity. So we've got uh, is that Elliot? Oh yeah. So yeah, it's a little shout Elliot. out to the family uh, yeah. there. Fultron. And then who Going else? Out. Who else came in? Is that um, that's number eight? Um, let me see. That's uh, Grayson uh, Grenier. Sophomore. So moved around the, uh, shifted some of the alignment, moved Flanagan back, I believe, to midfield. So Flanagan to Teixeira. Oh, missed the target. Oh, they played by Dennis. Dennis over to Flanagan. Flanagan to Posh. Posh, oh, oh had the right almost. idea. Yep. Diaz showing some speed out there. I like some of the speed yeah, of the don't freshman. Un don't underestimate him. He's uh, he's got speed. He's got wit. Say that again. So for those of you, I think we're having a little bit of technical difficulty with the clock. So we have about 12 minutes and and 15 All seconds right. left to go in the second half. Vera with the ball to Bowden. Jake Bowden looking for the second. Diaz there. Razvi. It's like Concord ball. I, I don't, yeah, Jerry, I think, you I, think explain. A, yeah. I think it's a dangerous, yeah. yeah. But it's interesting, who who is it more dangerous for, the what, Bedford player because he was on the ground or the, or the Concord player? Um, well, it's more dangerous, it, yeah. You don't want to get kicked in the face. Nope, nope. No siree. It's 
And again, I want to remind everyone, this Friday night, the Bulldogs uh, football team, they take on the Crimson Tide of Concord here at Bulldog Stadium, 7 p.m. You can watch the game either on YouTube or on – I'm going to stop. Bill, I'm going to stop saying BCTV23. BCTV 1072, actually, in HD. It's the only way to watch the Bulldogs. And again, special thanks to uh, Bill Jennings here, the uh, general manager of BCTV, who is working the camera. The guy does it all. And I will say he's the one who was encouraging me to uh, let it rip. Oh, yeah. That's right, uh, the goal, yep. Oh, there's going to be a special clip just on you. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice, nice play by... We still got oh, time. Oh, by Ball over to Conker. That's number 11, Colin Brayshaw. Flanagan with a header over number seven, Frank Musio. Elliot had no chance with number 11 there next goes to him Bowden. There. Bowden, I think, can smell the net right now. Bowden over to Rasby. Rasby surveying the field. Back to Nate Vero. Vero back to Bowden. Vero again back to Bowden. Bowden over to Gavin Diaz. Diaz, nice move. Over to Flanagan. Flanagan. Oh, great save by the keeper. Good job at Abbas. Oh, great save. Great move by Flanagan, too, actually, to get by the defender. Great ball movement. So that was Bowden to Diaz to Flanagan. Great save by the keeper. There you go. Another build up again. Oh. So right now, the keeper, you know, nine shots, nine shots on goal, and only two have gotten past him. So he's been definitely up to the up to the test. Dennis nice over to control. Flanagan. Flanagan looking for options. Yeah, nice to pass. Control. Another save. So that's save number. That's uh, shot number ten. So eight saves for the um, for uh, the Concord High School keeper. Some of these passes are a bit, just uh, the speed, uh, it's a little slower. I think the, it's not getting to its target. Uh, the Concord, um, their passes is just uh, getting a little late to the, uh, the, their intended target. In some of these later, in these latter passes here. All right, so eight eight minutes and fifty two seconds left to go. It's if if you're conquered, it it's time for those people from home uh, watching on on YouTube. Oh, great move! Uh, take it's down the box, nice, no nice call. Support. Jerry, what are your thoughts on that? Could could he have that called was it? Good. Uh, I don't know. It was hard for me to tell from oh. here. But uh, oh, nice job by good defensive support. I oh. couldn't tell who. Came over to help, but great play by number 11, Colin Brayshaw, to keep that ball in actually, and then um, had a nice move and and Middleton, again the defensive captain, um, Andrew Middleton, and again a lot of the Middleton's grandparents and, and family watching in in California. That's Elliot Teixeira. So Zach Dion. Well so Zach's been up to the test tonight. I think I have. Two shots on goal, but he's done a good job in terms of calling the game from the back. That's it? Only two shots? That's all I have, actually. Hmm. I think they've had some chances. I don't think they've gotten many, many shots. Yeah. So Razvi settles the ball. They created opportunities there. I'm surprised they only had two shots. Over to Poshman. Poshman. Oh, up got, to Diaz. To one Elliot touch on the side to there. Flanagan. Over to Grenier. Grenier. Grenier back to Posh. Coming on. Oh, we need a goal here. Jerry, we want to hear it again. Flanagan yep. over to Teixeira. Oh, yep. if, you, if your son scores, I could only imagine the, the, uh, the, the uh, goal. I'll, goal I'll probably call. just say, okay, nice goal. Yeah. <laughs> you got lucky. <laughs> and, and, and again, a quick shout out too. We have uh, uh, Caleb Harrington here on the doing the clock. And, and then we also have um, Andrew Kayser. Yeah, so um, also here doing the stats. We got a sub. Uh, um, who just went out here? So now, so a little battle between uh, Flanagan and Brayshaw from Concord. Flanagan, nice throw into um, to Grenier. 
Kate Corbett, I think, just came oh, in, Kate, right? Oh, so Kate Corbett in the game. So, again, I did a little bit earlier, but Kate's in the game now. Big shout-out to Gary and Judy Smith in San Diego, California. And they're um, Cade's uncle, Jean Gorday, and Aunt Mary Lynn Kinsella. And then Stan and Joanna Corbett watching from Palos, Palos Verdes, California. And I think I got all the shout-outs. I got the Clarys in Pennsylvania. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> all 50 states? Not yet. Yeah, we've uh, we have gone in, we have gone international, Jerry. Right. Right. That's Cade. Speaking of Cade Corbett, I think that's Cade right there. Flanagan over to Poshman. Take Poshman me. broken up by Concord. That's number three, El Sader. There's Gavin, Gavin on the chase. Nice play Good by pressure. Gavin. Yep. So Bedford will have a throw in. I think it's Jacob Bowden. So we're almost at the five-minute mark, stoppage in time. And, and so who knows what the playoffs. I mentioned the playoffs. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be putting all of the teams in Division One's by region school names into a hat, and they're going to randomly draw out who plays. Unfortunately, you can make the argument three of the better teams in the region or three of the better teams in the state, Central, Concord, and Bedford. So unfortunately, there's a chance that they'll all play each other in the first round or, or second round. Good throw in by Bowden. Yep. On the on the good side of this, it's like at least we still got playoffs. That's absolutely. Yep. Absolutely, Jerry. And no games next week unless uh, Corey Parker can pull a rabbit out of, out of his hat. Um, sent emails out to that countless. That was a nice give and go there. Oh. Bedford. Still protected the ball. That was good. Uh, to share, not happy with that call. Yeah, <laughs> Elliot. Hmm. We get another sub oh, yeah. coming in. Matt, he's going out. Well, Matt Flanagan is going out for, who's that? That's number four, Jackson Whitehead. The number four. So senior Matt Flanagan had a great night, one goal and, and, and one assist accounted in scoring for, on both of the goals. I just realized that uh, this is my first and last episode, uh, outing out here with you. Hopefully, it won't be. Hopefully, last. it won't be. I mean, hopefully, with the playoffs, I, I imagine that the, I, I imagine you know maybe we'll get another home game. Although I did hear some talk about all the playoffs games, playoff games maybe at a, a neutral site. But that was that was a long time ago when I heard that. So, oh. but we'll talk to our friends from BCTV and see if there's any chance that we can, you know, call an away game too. All right. So if they make it a neutral side, given the rules that they've had, no away. Um, but the good thing about, you know, typically Bedford selected to host tournaments and things like that, I think because of the great job that... that uh, that's true. Great. Yeah. Great. So yeah, so there should be some prerequisites. A nice turf field, be able to stream. Yeah. So that's Kate Corbett. Corbett looking for Teixeira. Good play by, um, who's that, uh, number 11, Colin uh, Brayshaw. Good play there. Another sub coming, I think, too, actually. I think Stu trying to get a few more players in the game. So we're at the five-minute stoppage. I'm a, I have about a minute and a half in right now, so we should have about three and a half minutes left to go in this, in this game. Again, anything can happen. But Bedford seems to be in control. They're four one and one right now. Good ball control there and heavy traffic. Looking to go five one and one. Again, their only blemish um, was a loss to Central the second week, and then they had a hard fought tie to Central also week number two. But you know, I, I looked at the standings a little bit earlier today, and there are a lot of undefeated teams, um, Jerry. But again, thing you have to ask is, you know, who are teams playing? I know that state champion Hanover from last year, I don't think they've played a Division One team all year. They're playing uh, Division Three and Division Four teams from up um, up in their area, actually, just to, to be safe with COVID. So we've got a number of subs coming in right now, and Stu taking out the seniors. Um, 
Still has a couple more seniors in. I think Middleton and, and Poshman are still in, but the rest of the um, um, seniors um, out of the game. Oh, takedown by... Oh, Cade Corbett didn't like... Oh, great play by Middleton. I, I think Dion had that. Um, I think he may have had a foul on this side of the field. Um, Corbett... Corbett, <laughs> Corbett got taken down. It was, I thought it was a clean hit, Jerry, by Colin uh, Brayshaw. But Corbett got up, and um, oh, and, yeah. and 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 uh, kind of hip checked. We were playing hockey. It would have been it would have been fine. But I had, um, yeah, I had my sights on the play over there, yeah, uh, right was, in front of the goal. Oh, nice, nice direct kick, Dion. Let's see, Dion with the save. Yeah, Ferrari. Nine, nine yep. with a save. Nice. Um, so that is um, save number three for Dion. So three minutes to go, and you know you wonder with, you know Bedford took out, you know, a number of um, a number of starters. You wonder whether or not Concord's capitalizing here. That's number three. Oh, mm, Bedford getting, little, little Bedford getting a, little, yeah, a little physical. That was uh, Jackson Whitehead. You know, but again, they haven't been in the game. You get in the game, right. you're, you know, you're, you're excited. Again, they're playing in front of seniors, so a lot of the underclassmen, first time in their, their varsity careers, they played in front of um, students. And again, a special shout out and thanks to all the seniors who are here tonight, too. And again, huge, huge shout out to team parent, um, Kim Middleton. Just uh, unbelievable, the work that she does for this program and son Poshman, um, just unbelievable. And the good news for Bulldog parents is uh, Griffin's a freshman, so Kim will be at it for the next three years, actually. So great, uh -huh. great to hear. <laughs> she, and that is That's the it. game, actually. All so. Right. So, Jerry, you know, I, I think hard-fought battle, although I, I think you'd admit, Jerry, I don't think the game was ever ever in question. Well, I think at the beginning, Concord came out uh, very disciplined, the speed, um, great passing. Uh, they were getting to the ball quick. They didn't give uh, Concord, I mean, uh, Bedford, too much room to dribble. Right. Right. Um, you know, I think a sign of, you know, Stu Pepper's team. Stu, good defensively. Just to recap the yep. scoring, too. So, in the first half, nine minutes in um, at the nine-minute mark, uh, Jacob Sr., Jacob Bowden, scored with an assist from uh, senior Matt Flanagan. And then at the 46th minute, um, Matt Flanagan, senior Matt Flanagan, scored uh, assist by senior Graham Hudson. Uh, shots on goal, we had uh, 10 for Bedford, and then we had three for Concord. And, again, Jerry, it's been a pleasure calling the game with you. Hopefully we'll be back here for a playoff game. Bulldogs play next on Saturday against Concord, their final regular season game. And a huge shout out to uh, to Bill and, you know, for being here this evening and, and to the great BC TV team. Thank so, you for the invite. This was, uh, this was fun. Uh, Jerry, any kind of like signature uh, sign out? Well, um, <laughs> I didn't even think of that one, but uh, all I'll say is thank you very much for having me out here again. Uh, uh, and like I said to some of them folks, ciao. Yeah. Hasta luego. <laughs> and, See and you Jerry, later. And so, again, this is Jim Flanagan for Jerry Tashera, with Jerry Tashera here signing out and saying, everyone have a great evening.